Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night. It is Percy once again back here with you today. And uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about uh, the discussion we started yesterday about uh, those of you getting out of the military soon. Um, and you decided to yourself, like, what are the things I want to do? And let's talk about that. So in the last post, uh, last Facebook Live I did, we talked about what are the general options for you getting out of the military. And the general options were, uh, there was three that are commonly known. And then I added a fourth uh, criteria, a fourth option that uh, a lot of people don't discuss that's out there that's... It's just not in the military channels or the people that are in them, that world. If you're a civilian that works for the military or if you're a military person, you have a certain mindset that hasn't been exposed uh, to this uh, type of thinking because you are in, in, the, in the military machine for the most part, which is not a bad thing. But we're discussing when you're about to get out of the military and what are your options. So I uh, want to, and all of my content is designed to help uh, met uh, military veterans uh, or people that are military and their thing about becoming or getting out of the military and how they can uh, have more options, okay, uh, to be successful when they get out. Just, um, I believe the most options that you have, the more informed decision that you can make. So what we talked about yesterday was, I'm just going to scratch the surface. Uh, we talked about the, the options. So they were A, re-enlist and stay in the military, uh, which is limited. B, we talked about uh, going into a job field uh, when you go to your tap class and or you're going to get uh, <laughs> asked this or see this a lot in the military, like GI Jobs type of uh, uh, magazines, a job that is very similar to what you did or exactly to what you did while you're in the military, but you start off, bam, at the bottom rung. So it's like you're starting over again, uh, but doing the same job or which is not bad at all uh, as well or uh or that but you just that might not be for you or c the other option was to uh, pursue something that you wanted to do that requires a formal education so you go to college after you get out of the military okay which is also not a bad thing to do now what i presented yesterday was option number four which is become an entrepreneur Okay, and there was two different types of entrepreneurships that I talked about yesterday. I'm not going to get into those today. We're going to take the path of one. We're going to take the path of digital entrepreneurship. And to start that off, we want to talk about brainstorming. Okay, so your first step is you want to think about brainstorming. And you want to say to yourself, you know, while I was in the military, or maybe even before I was in the military, or just I've noticed that people come to me and I, they ask me for different advice on things or I am a formal uh, trainer in, 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 of some sort in the military. Let's give you an example. Let's say I am, I'm always uh, keeping up with my physical fitness. I'm always eating right. And people ask me, hey man, you know, what is it that you eat? You know, what is it, what do you, how do you maintain your physical fitness, your physical you know, appearance? And you, you have a, a routine that you developed uh, that works for you. And people are asking you about that. Let me give you another example. Uh, you are a, you've been a, let's say you're a technician of some sort in the military and you worked on uh, some sort of electronics type equipment, but you've, but you've developed your own processes that seems to work 99%, 90% of the time for you into coming to a really concise decision on a plan of action for um, fixing something or, 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 or fixing fixing an issue with a particular piece of, or multiple of piece, pieces of equipment that you tried that uh, worked. Let's say you're, uh, you have uh, been selected and you've been doing this for years and you, as a trainer of some sort. You, uh, you train some of your military folks or you've been training some of your, your junior personnel or something like that and you've taken a certain approach to the training um, and people like it you know they say oh man i just i loved your training and and uh, i love the way i mean i really learned a lot from you 
uh, these are these are a, a small example and that was just a little bit of brainstorming i did off my head right now but of things that you want to ask yourself you want to say like man like or, or, or what are these things what what is it that i i'm very adept at that i like doing or that i know that i can do very well okay and you want to think about that and say to yourself wow that's something that i might be able to pursue afterwards okay that's something that that i would like to pursue afterwards okay and let's let's flip that let's flip that on the side because you may be asking yourself wow you know i don't have anything i don't know <laughs> i don't know of, of any skills that i have uh developed you know i'm not i haven't trained anybody i don't i'm not i just followed uh, you know i just did what i did every day to do my job you know um and this is this particular point you want to say okay but i've but i've always been interested in x you know i've also been i've always been interested in learning how to do x or or just to do x in general and what what would my life look like if i can do x you know what if what is x x could be uh shooting video uh funny comedy videos uh uh, sh learning how to uh, sell things online. X could be uh, learning how to 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 um, to open a uh, a small business of your own. You know, uh, how do I go about that process? Uh, X could be uh, you wanted to write a book. You wanted to write a book, but you don't you don't you don't know the. <laughs> How to do that per se so just because you don't know how to do it doesn't mean you should not uh, leave that off the table what you need at this point if you're gonna go down that route or something that you wanted to get to and you feel like in your your bones that I really want to do this is you need a mentor you need to find a mentor in that industry that has success in that a particular field uh, that and that can train you that offers training and even if they don't offer training you can uh, connect with them on social media, on uh, LinkedIn, on Facebook. Uh, I already said social media, but the point is you could ask them, hey, you know, could you train me or could you, you know, offer me training? And um, I'll get into that a little bit further, but that's pretty much the basic basis of brainstorming. So the brainstorming, the first process is you want to ask yourself, what is it that I'm good at uh, that people ask me to do, that people like my the results of what I do, my my what whatever thing that I do for them they like that uh, or they they compliment me on something that a quality that I do or that I can do, um, and the second part is, okay I don't have any of those qualities but there is something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to write a book I always wanted to be a personal trainer I always want to do you know X whatever this thing is, and that is when you how you start brainstorming finding your big idea for your entrepreneurial journey, so you can make your own income and have a great fulfilling life outside of the military when you are done i am done that's the it for today i am percy i am the postpreneur i am a veteran so that is uh today's lesson and have a great day